Good day, everybody. Back again. This is Dr. Mandy, the math group. So today we will solve the problem that we have solved in part one using algebra. Now we will solve it using calculus. So let's share my screen with you. So this is calculus and algebra, calculus part two problem, find the maximum and minimum points on the graph of x squared plus four y squared minus two x minus 16 y plus 13 equal to zero. Part B is using calculus. Part A I've already done in part one, so we'll do part B. x squared minus uh, plus four y squared minus two x minus 16 y plus 13 equal to zero. So we will do this differentiation respect to x, x squared becomes 2x, plus 4y squared becomes 4, then the 2 exponent comes in uh, as a coefficient to 2, 4 times 2 is 8, and on y, you are, y squared, you are left with y dy dx minus 2x, derivative with respect to x is 2, minus 16 dy dx, and the derivative of 13 with respect to x is 0. Now you separate the terms containing dy by dx, keep it on the left-hand side of the equal to sign, and the other terms go on the right-hand side. So you have 8y times dy dx minus 16 times dy dx is equal to 2 minus 2x. Now, from the first two terms on the left-hand side, we take dy dx common. Outside the parenthesis, we get common factor 8y minus 16 inside the parenthesis is 2 minus 2x. Now we divide by 8y minus 16 on both sides. So on the left side of the equal to sign, we get dy by dx is equal to 2 minus 2x divided by 8y minus 16. We take 2 as a common factor out of the numerator, which becomes 1 minus x multiplied by 2, and the denominator 2 outside the parenthesis, it becomes 4y minus 8. We cancel the common factor two from the numerator and denominator on the right hand side of the equal to, and we get dy by dx is equal to one minus x and four y minus eight. So the critical values for dy by dx are x equal to one when the derivative is zero and y equal to two when the derivative is not defined, undefined, because the denominator becomes zero. So we substitute x equal to one in the equation and we get an equation for y, which is y squared minus four y plus three, we solve it. The two factors are y minus three and y minus one equal to zero. So the two possible values of y are one and three, okay? And when we substitute y equal to two, we solve for x, an equation is x plus one times x minus three equal to zero and the equation is x squared minus 2x minus 3 whose two solutions are x equal to minus 1 and x equal to 3 and if we plug it back we get the two points minus 1 2 and 3 2 so what is the maximum value the maximum value is 1 3 of this uh, graph okay of this elliptical curve i should say and the minimum value is 1, 1 on this elliptical curve. This is the same information that we got when we solved it by algebra. So I'll stop here today. If you have any question, please contact me by writing a note. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Thanks for watching and please subscribe to my channel. Please like my video. Please subscribe to my channel by hitting the red subscribe button at the bottom right corner of the screen. I'll appreciate that I come back every week with new solutions. Thanks for watching, take care and see you next time.